Valeska Roldan and Tom Shrek. Presenting our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of our main event, Harvey Dock. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, it's showtime! Introducing to you first the challenger fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with green and gold trim, joining us from Alhambra, California. He weighed in at 255 and one quarter pounds. With a record of 20 wins, only one defeat, he has 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his second attempt at a world title, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former Olympian and current WBC mandatory ranked heavyweight contender, introducing the challenger, Dominic Treble Brazil! And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with bronze trim, fighting out of it, representing his home of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. He weighed in at a ready 223 and one quarter pounds, a 2008 Olympic bronze medalist who is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a tremendous record of 40 wins, no losses, one draw with 39 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making the ninth consecutive defense of his title, here is America's only heavyweight world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard-hitting, reigning and defending, undefeated WBC heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the bronze bomber, Deontay. Once again, a referee in charge, and now to give instructions, Harvey Dock. And round one, Brazil hoping to produce a Bazinga moment as he puts his own Big Bang Theory to the test. Wilder, who procured the heavyweight title against Berman Stavern, Stavern being the first person to go the distance with Wilder. Wilder obliterated him in the rematch, and Wilder told us that he is going to treat Brazil exactly the same way as he lands the one-two combination early. The key thing about this fight is Dominic Brazil is a slow starter. Everybody knows it, and, do, and they, the question is, can Wilder take advantage of that? We've talked about Brazil having 18 knockouts total. Wilder has 19 first round KOs. Ooh, going to the body with that left hand. And rarely does Wilder go down there. And that's something his trainer, former welterweight champion, Mark Breland told me he wants him to go to the body and then double punch Polly. Go to the body with the right and then the right uppercut on the inside. Well, both guys have mentioned they need to go to the body against the other, so it'll be interesting to see how they implement that game plan. Uh, Brazil uh, is, is a guy who, who takes a good headshot oh. and has been a stubborn he's, guy. We saw it in the Joshua fight. Well, you but, know, he's shaking his head. He's getting hit with right, yeah, with right and hand. that's oh. been the thing. And already hurt. Wilder. Top of the head. All over Brazil. Mulling Brazil in the corner. But Brazil comes back with a counter right hand and another right hand. Fierce exchange here in round one. And that's the thing with these big guys. And he put him violating his own right hand. The crowd already in fuego. Like the action here in the first frame. Brazil survives his first taste of adversity. Show the firepower of Wilder. That punch landed on top of the head, not even on the chin or anywhere on the face. And Brazil was uh, stumbling a little bit. But credit to Brazil for for having the character to throw with him and oh, oh. oh. 